One of the principal sights to see in Bongo, Congo is the magnificent palace of King Leonardo. The palace was open to the public every Wednesday afternoon, and True Blue, Odi Coloni, faithful servant of the king, conducted tours for garden clubs, civic groups, and visiting firemen. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Great Hall, or as it is popularly called, Echo Hall. Listen. Hello? 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 This room is so large that on state occasions, it is used as the indoor touch football field. And here is the portrait hall. We are standing at this moment in front of the portrait of Leonardo the Neat. He was king almost 300 years ago and spent all his time sweeping up the palace. He saved so much money by doing his own cleaning that he accumulated a great treasure. The legend is that he buried it under the palace. Odi Coloni was not the only one who knew about the legend of this treasure. At that very moment, in the hideout of Biggie Rat and Itchy Brother. Hey, uh, this reminds me of that uh, cookie ancestor of mine, the Leonardo de Neat. Uh, kind of like King of the Broom. No, oh, he was stupid, just like you, eh? Uh, yeah, Big. Uh, huh? Uh, well, uh, uh, this great granddad of mine, uh, he like uh, did his own cleaning and uh, saved a big treasure. A treasure? Yeah, that's the way I heard it. Uh, supposed to have buried it under the palace. You mean there's a treasure chest buried under that palace and you never told me? Uh, well, uh, many a chest is said in the chest, Big. Take this, Shovelhead. We've got work to do. Yeah, okay, Big, I dig. You sure will. Cause here's what we're gonna do, see? Biggie's plan was ingenious. A long ladder would serve to get them across the moat surrounding the palace and up onto the palace roof. Now get this, Edge. You use this ladder like your pole vault and see. Just run to the edge of the moat, slam the ladder down, let the other end fall on the roof, and start climbing. Uh, gee, Big, uh, I better, like, uh, halt on the vault. Uh, I'm more the coach-type track man at the... Listen, ladder lumps, start running or else. It's like a cool climb, Big. The hell? So, the ladder was a little short, Edge. That won't stop us. Here's our next move, see? The new plan was simple. Tunnel under the palace, steal the treasure, and make a fast getaway. For a while, everything went according to plan. But due to a slight miscalculation in the engineering department, the getaway was a little faster than expected. Now, this is Biggie talking, see? We're gonna drive Kingsley out of the palace. Then we're going in and find that treasure. Yeah, but gee, Big, uh, my royal brother thinks that palace is the most. Uh, he won't uh, ditch the dump. He will when I get through. And so Biggie and Itchy went to work on their sinister scheme. First, they dug under one side of the palace until the entire building tilted. Then they proceeded to paint the outside walls with cracks. They piled junk and trash around the once beautiful castle. In short, they made the palace look a ghastly mess. Only this palace looks like a ghastly mess. I can't stand it any longer. All this confounded walking up and down hill all day, I feel like a mountain goat. We're leaving right now. Start packing. But, sire, this is your family home. Be it ever so humble, there's no palace like home. Be it ever <laughs> so... Stop making me cry. There's no use crying over spilt milk or tilt palaces. We'll put the palace up for sale and move to a hotel. And so King Leonardo and his faithful servant, Odi Coloni, moved sadly out of the royal palace and put it up for sale. Yes, it looks very much as though Biggie's plot had succeeded. But at it, will Biggie Rat and Itchy Brother find the treasure? Will they take over the palace forever? Will the King and Odie like hotel food? Don't miss the next exciting episode. Home needs.